Here we're going to tie a little streamer called the mohair leech. I'm actually going to tie this with a, a hothead bead. You can tie this with a, a hothead bead, without a bead, uh, with a regular bead. You can really uh, do whatever you want. And this is kind of designed to imitate what they would call an egg sucking leech. This leech can be fished uh, in lakes can also be dead drifted or stripped in rivers as well especially up on like Gray Reef on the North Platte in Wyoming That's, this is a real popular fly so the first thing I did of course was just add that uh, that bead to the front of the hook and I put some uh, 010 or 015 uh, lead wire as a body next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, some claret uh, woolly bugger marabou. We're going to measure out a tail that's about the length of the straight portion of the shank. We're going to tie this in right on top of the, the shank of the hook. Once we have several wraps down to make sure it's nice and secure, we can trim out the excess. And I'll just clean it all up. Now the next thing to do is to tie in just a hint of flash. I'm just going to use some red or uh, pearl red crystal uh, flash for that. I'm going to use two strands. I'm just going to lay them down on one side of the hook and secure them to the side of the fly. Then I'll wrap forward and I'll just double over the extra piece. I made sure to leave myself plenty of room in length so I can do that. And I just secure it all. And I trim this flash so it's about the length of the tail. The next thing to do is to take some uni mohair in wine color as well. And you can tie this uh, mohair leech in a lot of different colors. You can tie it in black, red, brown, olive. You can uh, tie it in whatever color you like. This uh, wine color is probably one of the more popular colors. Now, once we have that mohair tied in, we're going to take our thread all the way forward. This mohair can be kind of interesting stuff to work with. What I try to do is as I wrap it, I try to draw out some of the fibers. And I try to trap as few of them as possible. And I just uh, place one wrap in front of the other. And this leech is supposed to have a fairly shaggy appearance. Once we're all done here, we'll actually comb it out and uh, make it look a little better. The idea here is just to try to trap as few of fibers as possible. And at the end, I try to draw out as many fibers as I can. We want to have several fibers at the uh, front of the fly here. Then we can secure the mohair right behind the bead. Trim out your mohair rope. And the last thing to do here before we do some combing is just to whip finish right behind the bead. Now the next thing to do is you want to get out uh, your dubbing brush. You want to comb some of this mohair. And we don't want this mohair to be too crazy long. I usually like it to just hang back over the tail just a little bit. I want the majority of the fibers to kind of be all up and around the fly. Just don't be afraid to give it a little haircut. This mohair can get a little little out of control. And this mohair kind of traps air bubbles and streaks back and moves and pulses. And that's what uh, makes this fly so effective. See you kind of have that halo 
effect that goes around the fly. That's exactly what we're looking for. And that's all there is to the mohair leech. This is the hothead version. And you can find all the materials for this fly on our website, intheriffle.com. If you're watching this via YouTube, there is a link in the description below the video that you can follow to our website and you can find uh, both the recipe information as well as the materials used. And that is the mohair leech.